All right, the Valorant just released us a new map and a new agent early. Today, we're gonna be looking at the leaks that have been posted fresh today. And I'm Fat Man. If you want more Valorant content, be sure to subscribe because I will present you this information. Valorant is known for one thing posting clues in kind of a mystery. They never really tell you what's going on. But I think think I cracked what's going on. Valorant actually posts a lot about their agent before its release and they actually posted something about the new map as well. This is actually insane and this is pretty huge. They posted four new pictures on Instagram. So on Instagram, if you didn't know, they have unique locations. So for example, they have Valorant Russia, they have Valorant Latam, and they have, you know, just unique languages. So the players and the community got together and translated this things into English. So everything you see here is most likely gonna be translated in some way or another, but let's get into the leaks. This is the first picture. This starts completely with a story and I'm gonna be exactly telling you what's going on here. So what you can see is the new agent flash. We've been seeing this flash a lot of times. There's been stuff leaked about it, but we can get a bit more into detail about this. This is the first picture. Leaked footage from a kingdom security cam spotted an anomaly. Probably nothing, but still worth checking out. Keep an eye for Valorant Brazil to follow the lead. Now, what's very important to note here is I'm pretty sure they revealed us this map. Now, this on the right is a press conference, which we will get later on. However, what you can see also here is this this is in a CD, and we saw this picture before actually. So what we have to do is now use a close-up of what the we can actually see in this small orb. We can see everything is owned by Kingdom. Buildings in the background, you know, every single Kingdom is owned by this huge corporation. So someone really spotted this and actually reported this to headquarters or to security. So I'm guessing that they just found out, well, this is worth checking out. And the one who would found out this is actually Raze. Raze sent this to Brimstone. Now, this is how Brimstone replied. I saw it online now. Do you know something about it? Brimstone replied, it's confidential. And then Raze replies, whoa, you suck, <laughs> which is really, really good. And we can prove that this is Raze by looking at her exclusive keychain. So Brimstone knows something about this this exclusive flash or this exclusive thing for that matter. Is it a new agent? We're not exactly sure, but I'm pretty sure it tells you pretty much soon. What I am guessing it is connected to Radianite, and it's really nice we're actually seeing a lot of new lore coming out for Valorant. Considering what they promised, we might be seeing a lot, and I mean a lot more in the next few months about everything connected with the story. What I'm really, really interested in this picture though is what is Ray's background? Like, honestly, it looks like a beach and it has a building nearby. We haven't saw this yet in Valorant. Where is this located? Surely it has some meaning. And that's why I took a deep dive. This is very interesting as this looks like Brazil, Ray's hometown. And I definitely think we could be seeing a, some, uh, something like that in the future. For example, right now we're seeing sort of a city map and warehouses and whatever. But surely in the future, we will see something more about Ray's history, about Brimstone's history, about Omen's history, about your favorite agent and how they're connected to the Valorant world. It's really nice seeing that Brimstone and Rays are connected now in lore, and as we can see it, it's also very likely that they're communicating through the world, using phones, of course. Now, this one is seriously interesting. Mysterious light blinds people at Kingdom press conference. And it's more important to note here, what did Kingdom really have in mind back there? What did they want to find out? What was the press conference for? And I can actually answer you this question for that matter. Well, the press conference was about that whistleblower blowing the stock market out. <laughs> Get it? Okay. Look, listen. 
the picture we got before as a teaser is now relevant to this story. Now that the stocks are super low, Kingdom had to make a press conference for everyone to report on. They also did mention that they will be revealing something big in March, which is exactly what we are seeing right now. This is the press conference that's going on and people were disturbed by this secret little flash by the new agent Yoru. I'm guessing Yoru is now getting revenge on Kingdom for infusing him with Radianite. I think I can go a bit deeper into that, but that's for another video. What you have to know here is that Yoru basically threw that flash and disrupted the press conference and Kingdom's big reveal. Now it does mention it blinds the people, so someone help me here, does it blind people forever or does it blind them temporarily? It's definitely a threat from Yoru himself. And this actually tells you something, Kingdom was hiding this, nobody knows what this blue energy like is like in real life, so it's definitely possible that we're seeing something very very fresh that was not revealed before to Kingdom. So nobody knows actually about these agents that have superpowers. This is another well clip we actually got on another page that's Valiant Turkish. So let's listen to it. Ne gördünüz ablacığım? Vallahi hiçbir şey görmedim. Normal yerleri siliyordum böyle. Bir cızırtı ses geldi. Ha. Elektrik gibi değil de bir değişik. Sonra bir anda bir ürperti geldi. <gülüyor> Gece vardı yasında tek başımaydım. Sonra bir ayak sesleri duydum. Takip ettim ama koridor bomboştu. Ya. Sonradan güvenlik kameralarına bile baktırdım. Orada da bir şey çıkmadı. 91'den beri çalışıyorum yani. Bu Ankara Kingdom tesis de yeni yapıldı. Vallahi bilemedim. So let's translate this. What did you saw? Says the man. I saw nothing, says the woman. I was working and heard the sizzle. After that, I looked at the cameras. I'm working since 91, 91, I guess year 91. Ankara Kingdom facility was just made new. Maybe there is something underneath. So Ankara Kingdom facility? Oh my god. Well, this is actually huge. This means that the Kingdom facility is probably hiding the agents. So, the agents are underneath this big facility, which could mean that they are hiding the agents and injecting them with Radianite to actually test them. The whistleblower reveals that and makes the stocks crash. Now, I will definitely return to this lore as it's very, very important to know that this is more. There is more to the storyline. I just don't have the information yet and I have to do more research. Now, this is really interesting because this gives us a lot of research about the Yoru lore and how he escaped Kingdom. Here we can see what it's actually going on. And this is actually insane. I have to make more videos on this, but here you can actually see that Yoru escaped the icebox facility by opening up a secret portal. Just like he does with the ultimate, he can bend reality and have portals. And this is exactly what he did. He teleported somewhere to Russia. More specifically, he actually teleported to Siberia. And I will be telling you everything that's going on in the future videos. For now, this video is more of an explanation on what's going on. Hopefully, this gives you a bit more on the details of what we are seeing and how you can connect the story and teaser together they put out there. That being said, be sure to check out my other videos and I will be talking more about this in the future. This is Fatman, sign out. Peace, guys.